Hi, I'm John. I'm a chemistry graduate student at UCLA. And now in this video, we're going to be going over some chemistry topics. Hope you find this useful and good luck in your course. Now, I mentioned that infrared spectroscopy is particularly valuable for determining the kinds of functional groups that are present in a molecule. Data on absorption patterns of functional groups are collected in tables called correlation tables. So you should be able to find in your textbook or online these correlation tables. And these, they list the infrared absorptions for the types of bonds and functional groups that you most often see uh, with organic molecules. Now, a cumulative correlation table, like I mentioned, you probably found in the appendices of your textbook. And in these tables, you'll find the intensity of a particular absorption. So you'll see that this is often referred to as strong, medium, or weak in general. Bonds between carbon and oxygen, where the electronegativity difference is the largest, have the largest dipole moments and tend to give the strongest IR absorptions. So what I'm going to do between now and the end of this lesson is go through the different functional groups and go over how to interpret those spectra, and in particular show uh, some of the correlation tables associated with the different functional groups for different types of organic molecules. Now to start out with, with alkanes, the infrared spectra are typically very simple with only a few peaks, the most common of which are shown in this table here. So this is a correlation table for alkanes, alkenes, alkynes, and arane, typical vibrational modes. And so as I mentioned before, you see the type of vibration here, stretching or bending, the frequency or frequency range at which this will typically be observed in an IR spectrum. And then also, as I mentioned, the intensity of this, so weak, medium, or strong. Now, I've just shrunk this table and put up here an example spectrum, IR spectrum, of decane. And so you can see here that we have a strong peak with multiple splitting between 2,850 and 3,000 wave numbers. Now, this is typical of characteristic alkane CH stretching. And it is strong in the spectrum because there are so many CH bonds and no other functional groups. So here for your reference, the molecular formula for decane, a whole lot of CH bonds, not any other functional groups really of interest. And so that's why this peak, this relative peak is so strong. The other prominent peaks of interest correspond to the methylene bending at 1,465 wave numbers and of the methyl bending at 1,380 weight numbers. So that corresponds to this one, this bend, and this bend respectively. So that's this peak and this. So as a reminder, as we're going through here for the different functional groups or different types of organic molecules, I'm really only going to be showing this one example for each one. There's going to be a separate video in which we delve into really solving uh, problems based on being given a spectrum and interpreting it and trying to guess what the actual molecules are. And so this is all I'm going to cover now for the alkanes, alkenes, etc. Um, they'll crop up again later, um, but for, for more detail, find that other video where we really delve into solving these problems. Now what about an example of an alkene? Here's a new spectrum, cyclohexene. So this is the molecular structure, the cyclic compound with a single double bond making it an alkene. So for these types of molecules, an easily recognized alkene absorption is the vanillic CH stretching that's slightly to the left of 3,000 wave numbers. And so this is at a higher frequency. So I'm referring to the stretching of this CH bond. Another very prominent stretch is the aliphatic CH stretching. So these are for the other um, carbon-hydrogen bonds, very similar to the alkane example for decane that I showed previously. Also characteristic of alkenes is the CC double bond stretching around 1600 wave numbers. And this vibration, however, is often weak and difficult to observe. The more symmetrical the alkene is, the weaker the absorption is going to be. Also visible is the methylene bending near about 1440 wave numbers. So again, I'm getting these values, these actual numbers here, you can see from the correlation tables. Now these are guidelines and sometimes depending on the actual molecule that you are analyzing, the spectrum for the, the molecules that you're analyzing, um, it, it might be slightly outside of this range, but these generally incorporate everything that you're typically going to be seeing uh, in your courses. 
Now for an example of an alkyne. Here we have the IR spectrum for one octyne. Here is the molecular formula on the bottom left of your screen. As you can see from the correlation table here, it might be a little small, but the alkyne CH stretching occurs around 3300 wave number. Now this is at a higher frequency than for either alkyl CH or vanillic uh, CH stretching. The peak is usually sharp and strong. So that's what this peak corresponds to. It's this vibrational mode, this stretching of the CH. So the SP1S carbon-hydrogen bond is unusually strong and therefore has a higher force constant than alkene CH bonds, which in turn absorb at a higher frequency than the even weaker alkane SP3-1S or carbon-hydrogen bonds. Now also observed in terminal alkynes like this one is the absorption near 2150 wave numbers owing to C triple bond C stretching. For internal alkynes, on the other hand, the C triple bond C stretching absorption is often very weak or completely absent. This is in uh, symmetric alkynes, it's going to be completely gone because stretching of this bond results in little to no change in the bond dipole moment. Now let's, let's look at an example for an airing. So here we have the infrared spectra for toluene, the molecular structure shown down here uh, in the bottom left of the screen. Now aromatic rings show a medium to a weak peak in the, in the CH stretching region at approximately 3,030 wave number. In addition, these compounds show several absorptions owing to the carbon double bond carbon stretching between 1450 and 1600 wave numbers. Those are identified here by these two peaks. In addition, aromatic rings show strong absorption in the region of 690 to 900 wave numbers as a result of out-of-plane CH bent, which are identified for the toluene spectrum here. Now, some modes involve all of the atoms moving in and out, such as breathing, whereas others involve some atoms moving in and others moving out. So these are very complex vibrational modes that involve the entire ring, such as these overtones that you might get into in your particular classes.